guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to attempt making sodium silicate once again if you haven't watched my last video on sodium silicate please click here to watch my last video don't forget to follow me on my instagram at rainy.english and if you want to support me monetarily you can do so by pledging as a patron on my patreon page rainy english please give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and Let's get into the video. So we've got 10 kilos of silica fume. We've got our three kilos of sodium hydroxide and we are going to react them in this stock pot. How much um, silica fume do we need? We did a calculation yesterday. We have a 10 kilo bags of silica fume with 90% of silicate in weight, which gives us nine kilos to start with. To make sodium silicate, we also need a sodium carrying reactant, which is sodium hydroxide in this case. We are using caustic soda for this purpose. In order to find out how much caustic soda is needed in the mixture, I did a simple calculation for the number of moles of silicate and sodium hydroxide. Turns out we need 12.224 kilos of caustic soda, which gives us the weight ratio of 0.818 kilos of silicate per every kilos of caustic soda but we're also rounding the number up to 0.85 because we want to limit the amount of sodium hydroxide used to make sure all of the sodium hydroxide are being reacted in the reaction okay so we're using 2.5 kilos of silica fume with three kilos of sodium hydroxide and we're just measuring out how much silica fume we're adding right now. <laughs> Simply changing our setup because it works a little bit better for us. It doesn't matter how much water we're adding at this stage because eventually we'll boil off all the water in order to concentrate the glue at the end. It's good to add the hydroxide at the start because it will heat up the water faster. Oh. Don't breathe this. I wasn't trying to, but it's coming my way. <laughs> Let's breathe some fresh air. Oh, hello. I can see my reflection over there. Can I have a look? Hold it over the thing so it improves the bubble. It's like sort of sticking to the tube. Yeah, well, when I touched it, it was really sticky. Mm. So I think I think the silica fume is making it stickier. Oh, you think so? Like yeah. the unreacted ones. Now, what's it going to make? What's it going to create when it make you know, it comes in kind of calcium hydroxide? It's going to actually form calcium silicate. Calcium silicates melting temperature will be higher than sodium silicate so it makes a bit of refractory okay so why did you choose sodium calcium silicate isn't water soluble but i had the theory that you could just add the chemicals you, re you require to create calcium silicate into the mixture and then when you fire the furnace, the reaction will occur, forming calcium silicate. Thank you for watching this video. Bye!